let's make a custom leaf village forehead protector headband so i have the one that is metal and we're gonna remove these rivets so i have new rivets to replace the old ones and you'll also need a new base for the headband so i'm gonna use this white headband because i'm gonna cosplay chocho -cho, and this is a dancer headband from charm now this headband is really cool because you can use it both sides, this side and this side. I'm going to use this flat side for this cosplay. So first we have to remove the rivets, right? And I'm going to use this flat head screwdriver to remove the rivets. But I don't want to scratch the metal on the front so I'm going to remove them from the back as much as possible. So here we go. So I'm also using this tool from my jewelry making kit. Actually, I think this one is from my nail kit, but it works just fine. There's a little bit of dust on there, so you're going to want to clean that off. Just be careful. You maybe want to wear a mask as well. So basically what I do is I kind of loosen it with the flathead screwdriver. And then I kind of pinch it off with the pliers here. And I'll do it one more time just so you can see how I do it. And once it's off from the back, you can just kind of pinch it off. And it'll come off with a satisfying pop. And remove the forehead protector. And we're going to clean the headband because I'm going to use this leather piece later. You don't have to reuse the leather piece, but I'm going to do it for this tutorial. And we're gonna remove this. Now I do not have a sewing anything, so I'm gonna just cut this off. Toss that to the side, and I have to also clean the metal piece as well. And make sure you fix it if it gets a little bent. Now we're gonna prep the new headband for punching holes. So I just kind of slide it in there and make sure it's as flat as possible and just line it up where I want the forehead protector to lay and just mark it in the holes and it's pretty easy. If you have a nice pointy marker, you should be able to fit it into the holes there. Then after that, we're going to punch the holes very carefully. Now this fabric right here is actually stretchy. And so you want to be careful because you don't want to make too big of a hole since it is stretchy fabric. So just a small hole would be good enough. And then you're going to slide the leather in there. We're going to use these capped rivets. And that's the cap. So what you want to do is put the barrel through the holes of all of the pieces you're going to attach together. And make sure you don't leave any out because that would not be helpful and as you can see here I'm just gonna push the fabric onto the barrel and you're gonna have to work the fabric down a bit because of course you don't want a very loose hole so it hugs it perfectly and that's what you want we're gonna attach the forehead protector and cap the rivet And that's what it looks like. There's some space, but you know, it's fine. It doesn't have to be perfect. Now we're going to use this base and slide it under everything. Make sure the fabric is straight. Everything is aligned. Put the cap on there and we're going to use this piece. Line it up and give it a nice little tap with the hammer. You don't want it to be too hard because it'll damage the rivet, but just a little tap. And it's done. So just do that until you have all of the rivets done all around the headband. This is what it looks like when it's finished. Pretty neat, right? And that is how you modify a Leaf Village forehead protector.